What is a microphone shock mount and how does that help you? If you have, say, a wooden floor and people are walking around while you are in the middle of recording or you are banging your hand on the desk, you will hear vibrations in microphone. This is similar with accidentally hitting a microphone stand or microphone boom arm mount like the one I have, Rode PSA1. Our vocals will be messed if the external sound also comes with it. We can use denoiser, but it will reduce the noise of our vocals too and will result in bad vocal sound. The shock mount can provide maximum isolation from handling vibrations and prevent unwanted movement of the microphone when you are recording. The shock mount also allows you to adjust the angle of the microphone. This is Elgato shock mount. It works well with Elgato Wave 1 and Wave 3 series microphones. Wave shock mount perfectly isolates your wave microphone from handling and impact vibrations that cause low frequency noise. We'll be doing the unboxing today and install it to the Wave 3 microphone I have over here. This product is purchased by me and not sponsored by Elgato. All right, so this is shock mount I have with me. It comes up with wave shock mount, obviously. Uh, as an accessory, it has the 3.8 and 1.14 inch adapter and a quick start guide. Let's open it up. That's the quick start guide. That's it. This is the wave shock mount. And yes, it is heavy. And where are the accessories? Oh, yeah, the accessories are already in. So you already have the 3, 8 and 4 inch adapter. If you don't need it, you can remove those. And that's it. Let's try to install it to our PSA roll PSA mount and see. For the purpose of installation, I have removed, disconnected my Web3 mic and I'll be using my Jabra mic which I use for work and once we hook it up, uh, I'll connect it back to see how it goes. So as I was saying earlier, uh, this is Rode PSA and overall Web3 mic uh, weight is not as per the requirement of the road PSA so it normally will always go up while I'm talking uh, to kind of adjust to that what I had done was I had installed additional uh, wave stand uh, heights or what you call it uh, which kind of gave additional weight to the uh, mount uh, making the microphone stay connected so let me disconnect it This is how it has come out. I'll actually remove this one as well. It's also a requirement because we'll be connecting the mount on these two screws for the mic. All right, it's out on one side. Let's do it on the other one. And it's out. keep it on the side so now let's try so as I can see already if you can see over here this I'm already having a 1 4 inch adapter and that may not work let me try to remove this
Okay, so it's actually 1, 4, 9, 3, 8 on either side. Let me see if it directly goes. No. Nope. So what I need to do is now just kind of put it on the other side. Let me put it up. You see, it got fit. And here, if I do it, it should go in. You see, without the mic, it keeps going up. But once I install the mic, this is the mic, and these are the screws which we unscrewed earlier. I'm going to put it back. This is how it goes here, and the other one. So now that it's connected, you can hear me back from my Wave 3 microphone, no more uh, other temporary microphone. Uh, you can hear me. Uh, I can mute, unmute the microphone using the capacitive uh, uh, mute button. Now you can hear me. That's it. Uh, I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel for more similar technology product reviews and like this video.